What is going on, all you mentees? This is the Uncanny Omar and... Astonishing Melanie. And together, in this Reviews in a Flash, we are going to be talking about... I always mess up this name. Not And I always want to call him Naked Bear Fighter. And he's not. <laughs> Shirtless, Shirtless Bear, Bear Fighter, Fighter from yeah. Image Comics. But before we get started, huge shout out to Darkstar916 for supplying us with a review thank copy. You. So thank you so much. Uh, don't forget that we put out videos every day. So if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Now, Reviews in a Flash is always spoiler free. So, Astonishing Melanie, tell us a little bit about this book, who publishes it, who put it together. Do your thing. Mm, okay. So, two authors of this book, um, Jody Le Hoop. I'm going to say it like in a French way. Le Hoop. Le, Le Hoop. Oh, God, I'm so glad I married somebody well, that people, can't pronounce quite. People say <laughs> our last name, you know. Yeah, so you still care. know who it is. All right. Sebastian Gurner and um, our, our, uh, the authors with the artist Neil Vendrell. And all three of them created this really fun book okay it is it's it's uh, published by image yeah published by image it's 17 dollars 17 dollars and definitely rated mature oh you're not going to correct me 16.99 no i'm t not <laughs> no i'm not going to correct <laughs> i teach my children to round up you don't think about 16.99 you think of it as 17 dollars okay. plus <laughs> good 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 mom logic yeah all right so Naked bear fight. Now, God damn it. See, I did a shirtless bear fighter. Maybe I just want the dude to be naked. Even though he is naked in it. Maybe that's what Actually, you know what? When I was reading this, it took me a second. I was like, why are they saying shirtless? Because I didn't actually read the title. You said, this is naked bear fighter. And I was like, what shirt? Oh, that's his name. <laughs> anyway, so. shirtless bear fighter. Quick synopsis. It's this ridiculous story about a guy named Shirtless, mm -hmm. that's his name, mm -hmm. who lived once upon a time in a bear community, and in this world, bears talk, right? They're like Yogi Bear. Mm -hmm. They're not cartoony, they're, they're like our bears, but they talk. Yeah, yeah. And he lived with them because his mother left him there, and through a series of unfortunate events, the love of his life is murdered or mm -hmm. killed by a fellow bear member, I'm not going to say who, and he's lived by himself and has sworn an oath to fight bears the rest of his life. So mm -hmm. we meet him when he has a beard. Uh, the part that cracked me up, I think I, I lost it when the baby had a beard. And, <laughs> yes, and at first he is, he's he's completely nude, right? So it's pixelated penises. Okay. Well, now, that, that, let me have a turn. Okay. okay. So I thought that part was fun. <laughs> The pixelated, the pixelated penis. penis. So Dude, ridiculous. when he's like doing this back throw, what's it called? He he takes the bear and he bends over and slams. DDP. DDP, is that what it's called? It's a wrestling move. Yeah, that, yeah. I don't know. Oh. Anywho, so he slams it to the ground and the pixelated penis just goes whoop. <laughs> it was, it's it was gravity. Fun. It's what it does. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> um, so the story actually starts with, though couple of agents who um, it, you find out they're trying to recruit shirtless uh, to help them out with bear arrests who are attacking the city. Bear okay. Yes, Very right. cartoony with bear punch written in big letters as he's punching or bear kick. Uh, it reminds me of Adult Swim humor when Adult Swim was good. Dear, dear. <laughs> it might still be it good. It might still be good. I haven't watched it in years because um, it started. I like the humor that's random, but it's also witty. And that's why I enjoyed this book. If it's just random for random sake to be weird, then it's not funny. Mm. Um, but, you know, it's got... It, it, it's To me, it's, it's cheesy, but it's still witty. <laughs> just a different play on the word bears. Uh, that he's fighting these bears. And then it goes to the Chicago Bears. And then... The bears in San Francisco. Which are <laughs> their god pieces bears, on it. <laughs> guys. Gay guys. Gay guys. They're guy, big hairy guys. and hairy, yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's just it's it's a fun book. I think uh you probably appreciate this, right? Like you give an example of the tropes they would use, like the movie tropes of 
the stereotypical storyline. Yeah, it's very Rambo-esque, right? Yeah, that, where, right. Rambo 2, where they come and recruit Rambo, and Rambo's like, I'm not gonna do it. And same thing, he's like, I'm not doing it. And then he jumps on the helicopter, he's like, I'm, let's go fight some bears. So let's let's talk about the artwork while we look at it. So here's so, the front of the book. Everyone, I did try to get my husband Spine to uh, and the back. be shirtless for this episode. You but are he crazy. Nope. Denied the love. Not gonna do it. So this is how shirtless bear fighter kicks off. Like I mentioned, there are bears attacking the city, and of course, <laughs> this is why maybe I called it naked bear fighter. Yeah, yeah. Because of the scene and the pixelated penises. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I There's mean, it's a shot I was talking about. We did say it was mature rating at the beginning, which is really odd because it's I find it odd that they do this and then they like black out curse words like the F bomb and stuff like that. Did they? Yeah, I oh. thought that was really weird. I think uh, it's just because this is so over the top ridiculous and it's just I think it's funny to to bleep out the curse words while you're at it. Oh, oh, here's the baby. Here's the baby with the. Uh... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the part that I had to put the book down and laugh. It may not be for everybody, honestly. It may, this, these may not be your kind of jokes, but I don't know. It worked for me. So this is the part we were talking about earlier, how it just kind of gets ridiculous. He goes to a circus. He goes to New Orleans. He goes to New York and gets attacked by teddy bears. He goes to Chicago. Chicago goes to San Francisco. San Francisco, where he goes to a bear club. <laughs> it just got ridiculous like that. <laughs> But mainly the reason we do this is so you can see the type of artwork. Um, by the way, each one of these, yeah, the cover is shown, and then you get the internal comic book, the internal artwork from and the comic book. And there are alternates at the back. You get the variant, variant. covers and concept art. And there's very little concept. <laughs> Actually, I mean, I why would, would you buy that? Cover? I would put that like, in the CGC. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh, there was this ridiculous character too. We. Didn't want to really dive into it too much. I'll let you all enjoy it and check it out. What is that even a cover? <laughs> I guess it is. Maybe it's front and back. So I know Scotty Young did one. Yeah, this yeah, one here when he was a baby. <laughs> that, that's good. I like this one right here. Yeah, that's Jerome Pena. His artwork is spectacular. And yeah, this is the concept art back here. So not very much. And then what the creators did. By the way, he did uh, Weatherman, which is another book we reviewed. Yeah. A couple, uh, like last year it was really good now that you've seen the kind of artwork to expect when you open this book when you read this book by Neil Vendrell we'll talk a little more about what this book was and how we felt about it before we give our final score so I'll let you mm -hmm. talk a little more like what did you think overall of the plot you said it was it was witty earlier but what did you think of the plot and how it ended because this is an all-in-one there yeah, is no yeah. more after mm -hmm. this um, another story would be fun though or okay. maybe something similar to it um, the, the villain, it kind of was eh for me, just the whole, the, the jokes about toilets and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. I guess I'm picky about my humor. Okay. <laughs> um, so it, for me, it did slow down a little bit, which is okay. Like I said, it's still a fun book. I liked it. Um, I just feel like, you know, I feel like that with a lot of movies. I like the first act. They're the second most and third. People, most people look forward to the third act. <laughs> I like, yeah, I just, uh, I like the character. Um, of shirtless? Or yeah, No, I mean, I like the character deposition. Is that the right word? Uh -huh. You're the English master. I have no idea what you're talking about. Anywho, I just like the intro stuff and the fun parts before it gets into action. Anyway. <laughs> um, I will say, so I think it was a total of five issues, if I'm not mistaken. And... I love the first issue. Like, the whole book itself took me about 30 minutes to, to read. Mm -hmm. It's not that yeah, long it's, to read. it's not a dense read. And it does, it's not heavy dialogue or anything. It's just fun. And mm -hmm. I think that's the best way to describe it. However, I think the, the fun and the, and the fun factor and the jokes kind of become a little stale towards the end. Oh, okay, like, so we agree. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I, I do. Like, I... I wanted to see more. I wanted to see more of like what was happening at the beginning, which is just random, ridiculous fighting. Instead of getting into deep character development as to why some of these characters are doing the things that they're doing, such as the betrayal, which I'm not gonna say who, in there, you know. And I wanted the I wanted a better ending, but overall, it was a fun book. And yeah, maybe it, it feels like the excitement has kind of died down. Yeah. By the end. Maybe well, they were trying to pat it out? I don't know. I like, uh, I mean, the, the jokes, still, they were still coming, like how he was able to 
how they villains found his weakness, which is putting a shirt on. They put a shirt Spoiler! on. Spoiler! Gosh. His damn name is Shirtless Bear <laughs> Fighter. Anyway, what would you give this book out of? Let's do out of ten now. Out of ten, what would you? Give? Oh you, no! You messed the I can't handle that. It gives you a little more wiggle room. I thought you'd be okay with that. <laughs> just multiply <laughs> your original score <laughs> times what I'm two. Doing. I okay. can't handle it. I'm just kidding. Um, I give it a 7 out of 10 then. 7 out of 10? Because it, even though I do feel like it dies down, it's I recommend reading it. It's fun. So 7 out of 10. Yeah, if you want to break from the norm, if you yeah. want to, you know, yeah. cleanse your palate is what I like to call these kind of stories where you're reading something so Ooh, dense. You're so fancy. Yeah, me and my wine drinking. <laughs> it's good. Um, but seriously, it's like when you're reading something so dense or you're reading something from the Silver Age that's yeah. so mm -hmm. heavy dialogue, you look forward to little breaks like this or manga for that reason. So honestly, kind of reminds me and reads like a manga. Ridiculous, makes no sense, and you have kind of fall yeah. in love with how but like I said, silly it is. It, yeah, it's silly without being completely random and being like, what in the world? Yeah. yeah so. But... Same. Seven out of ten oh, for okay, me, too. Cool. So, High good seven. Good job. Good thing we don't talk ahead of time before we do this, because, yeah. Yeah. It, we never know where we're going to go. Because I don't talk to you. So. I don't know. I text her every once in a while. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. She's down here making videos all the time. So, thank you all for watching. Thank you very much. Thank you to our Patreons and subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button uh, for overviews, retro views from my husband. Sometimes our daughter getting on here reviewing. She's awfully cute. So, yeah. Uh, we can be found on Redbubble and Patreon. And thank you to our existing patrons. I already said that. This is why I suck at signing off. Please <laughs> come back to the channel. Everybody, please stay healthy, safe out there. Much love to everybody. Stay geeky. God bless. <laughs>